38 Turkish soldiers martyred in clashes with PKK in Iraqi Kurdistan. Iraqi Kurdistan region, 38 Turkish soldiers have been killed in the recent offensive against Kurdish militants from the Kurdistan Workers' Party in Iraqi Kurdistan region, HPG, the military wing of PKK said in a statement published by Firet News Agency on Monday. Hey, welcome to the Offbeat Defense News. If you've not subscribed to this channel, Please subscribe for upcoming factual interesting videos. Thanks. The Turkish army has launched a new ground and air offensive against Kurdish PKK rebels in Iraqi Kurdistan on Saturday. According to the People's Defense Forces HPG, statement published on Monday, the PKK guerrillas are resisting fiercely and at least 38 soldiers of the Turkish army have been killed. Turkish soldiers have been airdropped from helicopters on several hills and are trying to penetrate the guerrillas tunnel system using unknown chemical agents. Guerrillas operate in small units and have carried out several actions on the occupation forces, also using sniper and sabotage tactics, the statement said. The statement said, the occupation operation launched by the Turkish state on April 23, 2021, in the Metina, Avashin and Zap regions within the Media Defense Zones continues. Our guerrilla units have carried out extensive actions against the invasion and dealt harsh blows to the occupiers. Following the Bazin Zagros, Hawks of Zagros, revolutionary offensive launched in the Avashin, and Zap regions, our forces launched the Senga Zaber, Battle of Kabur, offensive in Medina. The Turkish army regularly conducts cross-border operations and air raids against PKK bases in Iraqi Kurdistan. Turkish President Recep Tayyip Erdogan dubbed this one operation Claw Lightning. Erdogan said the offensive was designed to completely end the presence of the terror threat along our southern borders. In February, Turkey launched an operation dubbed Claw Eagle 2 against PKK rebels holed up in the Iraqi Kurdistan region of Duhak. Iraqi Kurdistan's ruling Barzani family have close ties with the Turkish government which is an important economic and political partner of KDP, and opposes PKK. The PKK took up arms in 1984 against the Turkish state, which still denies the constitutional existence of Kurds, to push for greater autonomy in Turkish Kurdistan, for the Kurdish minority who make over 22.5 million of the country's 82 million population. More than 40,000 Turkish soldiers and Kurdish rebels have been killed in the conflict. A large Kurdish community in Turkey and worldwide openly sympathize with PKK rebels and Abdullah Akalan, who founded the PKK group in 1974 and currently serving a life sentence in Turkey. Thank you so much for watching video, please hit subscribe, like and share. Thanks.